Hillary Clinton just uh, weighed in on the heat wave that we're experiencing. And she said, quote, hot enough for you, thank a MAGA Republican, or better yet, vote them out of office. Hillary Clinton, you know, she's the adult in charge. She's the really serious person. And this very serious person is saying that summer heat waves, a feature of life for all of history, are the fault of Republicans. And not those Mitt Romney Republicans, by the way. Not those nice little Republicans who squish and help out the Democrats. The MAGA Republicans, the conservatives. Conservatives are responsible for the weather. I thought the last theory on that was that the Jews control the weather. Wasn't that? That was the last conspiracy theory. Now, for, sorry, Jews, you're out. It's the MAGA Republicans who control the weather now. I don't know. When do we get our space lasers? When's Hillary going to start talking about the MAGA Republican space laser? I don't know. It's just as crazy a theory, though. We, we don't control the weather. We don't control the heat. It's been hot in July forever. <laughs> and uh, Donald Trump is not responsible for that at all. I mentioned this story not to point out that Hillary Clinton is a very silly lady, not to point out that the libs are far crazier than the conservatives are, all of that. Obviously, we just take that for granted. The thing I want to point out here is a trick of the libs, which is that the libs are very good at appealing to the flesh. And conservatives are not as good at that. Conservatives are really good at making logical arguments. Conservatives are really good at destroying people with facts and logic and making all sorts of intellectual and historical and philosophical points. Sure, the libs are really good at appealing to the flesh. And they do this through all sorts of decadent temptations that they make. Obviously, the sexual revolution. Obviously, the drugs. Obviously, all, the, all those kinds of things we see. But even here, even in this silly Hillary Clinton tweet, she says, hey, are you feeling hot right now? Do you feel uncomfortable? Are you sweating? Yeah, that's Republicans' fault. Does that make any sense? No, they come up with some tenuous, preposterous argument. You know, well, actually, because the Republicans drive cars like we all do, and Republicans use oil like everyone on earth does, that, some, that because of that and the oil angers the sun monster and the sun monster shines its rays even more strongly and the climate, catastrophe, warming, cooling, change, whatever. That's, that's the, but the argument is secondary. What, what is primary is the appeal to the flesh. And so be, because they can speak in this fleshy kind of language and appeal to your, your baser appetites and appeal to your sensation, they forge that connection such that when completely unrelated events happen, when the water goes up, when the water goes down, when the ice breaks off, when there's too much ice, when there's a hurricane, when there's not a hurricane, whenever anything happens in the weather and you feel it, you have that connection in there. It's, it's irrational, but so much of politics is based on sentiment. You know, a friend and colleague of mine likes to say facts don't care about your feelings. Politics largely cares about your feelings. And the libs get that a lot better than conservatives do. And so we can all mock Hillary's argument. It will have a lot of currency for a lot of people. Right now, head on over to goodranchers.com, promo code Knowles. You know, I love anything made with top of the line quality. For me, it is Good Ranchers. Simple as that. The only thing that was missing from Good Ranchers, truly, this was my only complaint about Good Ranchers, but I did complain about this to sweet little Elisa. They were missing some pork. And I like, well, let me tell you something. When you ask for, for things, Good Ranchers delivers. Good Ranchers has just launched their prime pork, 100% American pork that is steakhouse quality. This new pork box comes with bone in and boneless pork chops, sausage, smoked brats, and more. Plus, right now, you get 30 bucks off with code Knowles at GoodRanchers.com. On their site, you can explore their all-American cuts of prime pork, prime beef, and better-than-organic chicken options. If you've tried their beef and chicken before, then you know how amazing it is. You've got to try the prime pork at least once. They have got genuinely great products and top-tier customer service. I love it. My only thing that I'm really missing now while I'm traveling in Hungary, other than my wife and children, is my good ranchers. When I go home and a sweet little Elisa three times a week makes me juicy, delicious steak. and bur One of the last meals I had before I left was, was a good ranchers burger. It's the best. It's like the best burger I've ever had in my life. What are you waiting for? Go to goodranchers.com. Code Knowles, 30 bucks off any box. Goodranchers.com, promo code Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S. Goodranchers.com, American meat delivered. The former San Francisco DA, Chase Boudin, you remember him? He's the guy that allowed San Francisco to just turn into a complete cesspit of filth and excrement and dead druggies and criminals. And it's just, you can't even really travel there anymore. So that guy finally got booted out of office. That was great. And now he's making over 200 grand a year in a position at UC Berkeley, of course. 
And the Harvard law professor, Adrian Vermeule, great conservative intellectual today, he pointed out that what this is, is basically a sinecure for failed leftists. And it's something the left does very well and the right is not really good at it. And it's important. It's not just a way to take care of your buddies. It's a way to encourage further activism. Because on the left right now, what we are, what the, what the leftists are told, not what we are told, what the leftists are told is, hey, go out there, be radical, push our crazy policies. And I know it might not be popular, but you'll probably be able to hold on to power. And don't worry, if you don't hang on to power, we got your back. Don't worry, you're never going to miss a meal. You're never going to go broke, okay? Because if you push it too far, we're going we're to support that. And then if you do get thrown out of office, don't worry, you'll make 200 plus grand a year in some post. What is he doing at UC Berkeley? He's going to run the new center that was just founded, the Criminal Law and Justice Center at this public university. So your taxpayer dollars, at least California's taxpayer dollars here. And Boudin says that the center is going to give him a better opportunity to create lasting progress through public service. So the university is going to pay him 210 grand a year. And they've said that they're going to fund the center $400,000 for the next three years. Now that number is important. Is that number for a whole center is nothing. The university is releasing this as those that we're giving $400,000 to the center. What are you going to do with $400,000? You're going to run a center for three years. You're paying more than half of that in the salary to the, the failed leftist DA heading it. Why? Because the point of hiring him was not so that you would have someone to run this important center. It's the opposite. You created the center to give this guy a paycheck. The center is nothing. It's not, maybe he'll go out and raise outside money. I'm sure he could. He's plugged into pretty wealthy donors, but it doesn't matter. The center could have one office and one chair. He doesn't even need to show up to it. It's just a way to say, hey, when you fail, we got you. So all you other leftists out there, don't be afraid of trying to radically implement our agenda. The right doesn't really do that. The right does it a little bit on the neocon, squishy liberal side. I'm not going to name the think tanks and the institutions. I think you know the ones we're talking about, though. A lot of the never Trumper types went over there when they got booted out of GOP politics. They just go and they collect their six-figure paycheck and they publish white papers that nobody reads and they lament the fall of the GOP or whatever, then it doesn't matter because they, in many ways, are, are just as much upholders of the liberal establishment as the radical leftists like Boudin are. The, the difference is that the role of these squishy conservatives is to be the court jesters in the kingdom of liberalism. So their, their role is to provide a semblance of opposition. So it looks as though there's a real political fight going on. It looks as though there's a real representation for the people, but there's not. Their job is to lose with dignity. That's why they support the candidates who lose. That's not a, that's not a flaw of their system. That's the feature of their system. But, but in terms of the actual conservatives, the real, the, the call it, I don't know, the populist right, or maybe the traditional right, or the conservative right, or whatever, the, the guys who are actually conservative, we don't really have that. If we fail, we're kind of in trouble, financially at least. And maybe there are some ways that you can you can parlay your, your work into some other, but it's nothing like the liberals have. It's an, and, and the right needs to build that up. Part of how the left has been so effective at implementing its radical agenda is it has mitigated the potential downside for trying to do it. The, the conservative right needs to do the same thing. Boy, what a great clip that was. Now, hold on, bop, 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 ring that bell, subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.